Maze hated gossip and bless and her judgment, sizing people up, taking their inventories. The way she carried on about a guy being no good for a girl felt like an accusation. I could see he was taking it personal. Bless was being a generic sort of mean girl. It wasn't right. I stepped in and took him aside and asked him if he knew anywhere we might score a piece, perhaps some perks or clonopin. A taste of methadone wouldn't be the end of the world. I wasn't in dire need at that moment exactly, just wanted to get him off of the deep sea line she was reeling in. He picked up on my dollar store idea, started telling me about this guy and that, thinking off the top of his head. And I swear he dropped Black's name. In the chemical trails, rivers tend to run back to a common source. Aim had one ear out. Maze was cautious, just shy of addressing my concerns. I could appreciate the community resources he was offering me. Then he went on a tangent. Something about these ordinaries who had got themselves mixed up with this bad dude and how Black was running their lives. Sounded crazy to me. A real exaggeration in the kind of thing a guy like Maze might perpetrate just to impress a girl like me. I expected him to get to the end of this confabulation and turn around and call me a sucker for believing. I was happy to float this origami boat for as long as it took the water to soak in and sink it. Anything to keep him occupied and vo avoid a disaster would bless. By what I could follow, the supposition was the existence of a goddamn slave trade market right here in the thick of Oakland in the 21st century. Not just human trafficking, because everyone knows that exists. If not on your nearest street corner, on the back page of every weekly newspaper covering all the local art scene. No, he was talking about humans being repurposed like zombies and manipulated at will. I'm quite sure I turned into an idiot on the spot as I laughed in his face. The origami fell to the bottom of the sea.